A Sketch of Mateship, by Henry Lawson. This is a Ripperbox recording. All Ripperbox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, visit ripperbox.org. Recording by Glenn O'Brien, www.glennobrien.net. Bill and Jim, professional shearers, were going into birth in the Queensland side. They were horsemen and had two pack horses. At the last show before Burke, Chief's pack horse got disgusted and homesick during the night and started back for the place where he was foaled. Jim was with more than a new jump jackaroo. He was no bushman and Jerry got lost when he went down the next gully. Bill was the bushman, so it was decided that he should go back to look for the horse. Now Bill was going to sell his pack horse, a well-bred mare, in Burke, and he was anxious to get her into the yard before the horse sales were over. This was to be the last day of the sales. Jim was the best barracker of the two. He had great imagination. He was a very entertaining storyteller and conversationalist in social life, and a glib and the most impressive flyer in business. So it was decided that he should hurry on into Berg with the mare and sell for Bill, Sam Pounds Reserve. Next day, Bill turned up with the missing horse and saw Jim standing against the veranda post of the carrier's arms, with his head down over his eyes and thoughtfully spitting in the dust. Bill rode over to him. Hello, Jim. Hello, Bill. I see you got him. Yes, I got him. Pause. Where'd you find him? About ten miles back, near Force Bridge. He was just feeling along. Pause. Jim shifted his feet and spent the dust. Well, said Bill at last, how'd you get on, Jim? Oh, all right, said Jim. I saw the mare. That's right, said Bill. How much did you fetch? I quit, then rustled himself a little and showed some emotion. And I could have got ten quid for her if I hadn't been a damn fool. Oh, that's good enough, said Bill. I could have got ten quid if I had waited. Well, it's no use crying. I quit's good enough. Did you get the stuff? Oh, yes. The part all right. If I hadn't been such a damn fool and rushed it, there was a fellow that would have got ten quid for that mare. Well, don't break your back about said Bill, that's good enough. Yes, but I could have got ten, said Jim, wrangled me, put his hand in his pocket. Pause. Bill sat waiting for him to hand over the my, but Jim would choose himself empty, stretch, and said, Ah well, Bill, I died in. Well, that's a couple of notes. Jim had been drinking and gambling all night, and he lost eight pounds as far as his own money. Bill didn't explode. What was the use? He should have known that Jim wasn't to be trusted with money in town. It was he who had been a fool. He sighed and lent Jim a pound, and they went in to have a drink. Now it strikes me that if this had happened in a civilized country like England, B would have had Jim arrested and charged for larceny as a bailee or embezzlement, or whatever it was. And would Bill or Jim or the world have been any better for it? End of A Sketch of Friendship by Henry Lawson